cleaning crews already out and about, getting ready for the day. Check out this construction job site here. Building yet another hotel. The economy here in Bloomington is booming. And we have to go ahead and make our way out of here. It's gonna be our last day in uh, Bloomington, Minnesota, which honestly, Mall of America, I thought would have been in Minneapolis, Minnesota, but that's neither here nor there. Bloomington, look at this view. This place is honestly beautiful. But I do think that we're quite possibly heading to somewhere, several somewheres beyond this stop on our trip that are going to be far more impressive, even though this is a beautiful shot. And got my corner spot, got a good corner spot right there. Look at that, nestled in all fine and good there. But we got concrete coming in. Got to get that poor fort sets, sets up in that truck. But even being so close to the airport, uh, we don't hear, we don't hear the planes flying overhead or Delta or any of these other airlines, United or whomever, Southwest. I haven't seen the Southwest plane here now that I think about it, so I don't know. Regardless, uh, we're moving on. And the direction that we're going is, has been influenced by safety. And this safety concern is focused around the current and uh, I don't mean to get distracted every time I come down another flight of stairs, but this is just something that you don't see often uh, in our neck of the woods being Florida uh, and these ballasted EPDM roofs. Uh, this is, uh, yeah, just not something you see every day, at least not something you see often. So when I see a ballasted EPDM roof, it really catches my attention. Now, what I was trying to tell you guys is that the weather dictates, um, and I'll show you guys one more level closer. You can see the EPDM on the parapet underneath the metal coping, but the ballast is the rock. The rock is what holds the membrane of the roof down. So that's why it's ballasted. But uh, the weather has dictated the path that we are going to take. And ultimately, we're still going to make it to Canada, despite Canada having these wildfire situations going on. And what I have seen from my research as we're getting prepared to pick and choose the direction that we're going to go. That's where I recorded yesterday. I need to show that to Michelle. I want her to see that little area. But it's the Northwest Territories. Man, it's chilly out here. Man, honestly, that's a tough call because I know wintertime in uh, Minnesota will be colder, far colder than Florida. But this weather right now is almost perfect. I need to, uh, I'll check and see what the temperature is. But I would be willing to bet that it's probably almost 80 degrees. It feels so good out here right now, man. But anyway, the weather, we have a state of emergency folks. New York underwater, Vermont underwater, um, DC, DC not underwater, but apparently DC is issuing a state of emergency for this emergency crime bill that they need to pass. Uh, and our safety concerns are around the weather, but also, you know, physical safety. And uh, so yeah, DC, sorry, DC's out. But either way, we're gonna continuously head west. We are not going to make it, I don't think anywhere near the part of Canada that is potentially at risk because of the record high temperatures that 
they're experiencing in the Northwest Territories and these wildfires that are seemingly burning out of control. It's crazy. Uh, so, here, check this out. We can turn it around. Look at this build here. Look at this build here. And they have so much. All right, so here's the deal. They've got folks coming in from the, oh, you can't see that. You can't see that Delta building anymore. But they got folks coming in all the time here at the Hyatt Regency, um, which is where we stayed, from the airlines staying the night. They have a convention center here as well. And you got another Embassy Suites hotel over here. And you got so many folks coming in here to visit the Mall of America. They've even got a shuttle that they run from this hotel to the Mall of America. Uh, there's a restaurant down there called Hazelwood, which is where we ate dinner last night. And that was a lot of fun. A lot of fun. Really, really good food. And uh, yeah, there, there, I, there she is. There, there we are. Just chilling over here in the cut. But we're actually going to head out today. Uh, make our way out of here onto our next destination. Uh, apparently, the Mimosa Monday mimosa or monday mimosa live stream for squirrel tribe 2.0 it was postponed but i'm gonna tell you guys right now you're not gonna be upset when you see uh what she's got in store for you so make sure you go check out squirrel tribe 2.0 and make sure you check out squirrel tribe's main channel as well because uh she covered and she is covering some very very important information for you guys uh on a regular basis important important helpful facts news most things that don't really make it to mainstream media that i think that are really really important we are going to get together later today and bring you guys more information and another update in regard to sorry I'm getting distracted again but architecture architecture really just kind of gets me going you know i like my cars for sure uh, I have a lot of interests uh, that most people probably wouldn't immediately suspect. Uh, but this architecture here, I just seeing what they're putting on these rooftops and how they get creative with the space and the landscape and the visual. As far as the materials that are used, I mean, this, this truly, in my opinion, is a beautiful place, a beautiful office park center. Uh, and uh, I really like it here. Not to mention this weather is unbelievable. Like, whew. Now, if the sun wasn't out, if you're in the shade, if you're in a shady area and the wind was blowing, it would, it'd be kind of like cooler, maybe not perfect. But right now, this is almost literally perfect. Uh, but we're going to bring you guys some information together on our next podcast, some really important information that I want to share with you, particularly about the uh, financial impacts that people are facing right now and a solution that I came across literally, <laughs> for lack of better words, I shit you not, as I was in the bathroom at a Love's truck stop. Crazy. Uh, I prefer Loves, I prefer Racetrack. I prefer QT, Quick Trip, but I'm not gonna find any QTs out here uh, in the Midwest, I don't think. I don't think QT has gone that far. Uh, I was actually surprised to see QT actually step out of Georgia and enter into South Carolina. I'd love to see QT in Florida, but I don't know, we'll see. But I, I prefer Loves, I prefer Quick Trip, QT, I prefer Racetrack. Um, I think those are gonna change as we continuously head west because, uh, be honest with you guys, heading east and heading towards New York, heading towards uh, Ontario, heading towards Toronto, heading towards Maine, these are all areas that uh, we had planned on trying to hit 
and Michelle and the kid really wanted to check out. Not to say that we're never gonna get there, but odds are those will be reserved for later this year as a Thanksgiving Christmas vacation trip. So odds are that's how that's gonna work out. Got a lot of Xfinity trucks over here working. Um, so instead we're gonna go a different direction and that direction has far better weather, uh, no risk as far as I can tell of any flooding situations or flooding concerns and uh, also the air quality is this trash or how did this somebody just leaving garbage here that's not necessarily uh, in line with what I've been seeing here so far so I don't know what's going on with that I guess this is more of a residential area. We got kids, toys, and patio here. I'm not really sure. A mixed use, it's a mixed use. You got commercial space, you got residential space, you got office space, you got restaurants, you got hotels, all within walking distance. We could literally walk to the Mall of America from our hotel if we wanted to. It's not very far. There's a shuttle as well, but we just drove, we parked, we parked for free, got a front spot. And uh, you know, right now, this part of the, this time of year is probably not the peak uh, tourist attraction season for the Mall of America. Uh, but even if it were, then, you know, it's like, we could take the shuttle or we could just walk and get over there without having to try to find a spot. I would be willing to bet that the peak season is probably colder too. So I don't know, do I wanna walk in the freezing cold to get over there? But we would be bundled up. We'd have our, we'd have our uh, Patagonias on or, or we'd have our Canada Goose or whatever uh, North Face to stay warm and be bundled up. Could be fun, could be fun. But either way, a lot that I want to share with you, a lot that I want to bring to you guys, especially now that more people are asking for more information on how they can make money online, how can they, they can get invested. Don't forget, get your free stocks. Link in the description down below to Moomoo to get your free stocks. And ultimately have a deeper discussion and go into greater detail on preparing for and surviving this challenging time of increased economic uncertainty, insanely high cost of living, uh, crisis. Looks like we got a train coming or a trolley or what is this? It sounds futuristic. Metro Transit. Renaissance World Tour. Oh, is that Beyonce? I think I think that's Beyonce. I saw that Beyonce was heading to Canada to start her new tour. Maybe it's the Renaissance World Tour. Uh, maybe we get some tickets to go see Beyonce. That was kind of strange. It's, it's, it's electric, I guess. That's why it sounds so futuristic. And um, but either way. Uh, I need to bring you guys some information on that, especially electric, especially electric, because we are driving this road trip in the Porsche Macan GTS. It is, you know, internally combustion, uh, gas, dinosaur juice, uh, ice engine, not battery powered. Most importantly, the new Macan. The new Porsche Macan was supposed to come out as an EV, as a battery powered option. However, I'm hearing that Porsche may be changing their mind on just that. Now, this could have something to do with the changes to the Taycan sales, uh, as well as 
the inability for the charging infrastructure to actually support the sales. Okay, you see what I'm saying? So it's like if the government mandates and forces uh, this change of electric vehicles, now granted there's a deadline, right? But as a vehicle manufacturer, what's the incentive to rush to beat the deadline when the charging network and infrastructure doesn't support the, the, the consumer and their interest in wanting to buy these vehicles? You see what I'm saying? So we need to talk about that, as well as a variety of other things that Michelle and I will cover later today. And it seems as though where we are headed uh, says that we have a 135 Mbps, that's megabytes per second, high-speed Wi-Fi internet connection. So uh, wherever we end up should be on par, if not better than where we are now. The key with that is upload speed. So if you're a content creator, you know download is good, but upload is where it's at. Uh, when you're uploading video files, when you're uploading content, you know, a few gigs at a time, then the better the upload speed, the faster you can get that content uploaded and go on about your day and move on. We could, in a pinch, just go ahead and upload through over the air using 5G, but that cuts into our, da our data plan and I'd rather save that and utilize Wi-Fi when it's available. But either way, these are just a few topics that I want to cover and discuss with you guys. And there's so much more to it. I don't have my notes in front of me, so uh, I'm just kind of reading to you from memory uh, as I was compiling this for you guys today. So make sure you turn on your alerts so you can get notified when that video goes up. Make sure you check out Squirrel Tribe as well. And if there's anything you would like us to cover by all means, feel free, drop a comment down below and let me know. Now I did want you guys to see, look at this giant automated revolving door. That's freaking cool. But I want you all to see this fireplace. This fireplace is epic. The fireplace is epic. And they even got this little VIP for pets. A little dog bowl. Oh, this is where I recorded my video. Somebody's in there. But anyway, I like taking advantage of the spaces around us and just the cool scenery and backgrounds. So it just, I don't know, it just puts me in a, in a better mood sometimes when literally just reading you guys the news and a lot of the same things that we discuss on a regular basis. But I think repetition is key. And I also think that we still have so many more folks to reach to bring this information to, to help them along. Because like I said, we are at a time of huge economic uncertainty, state of emergency, widespread panic, chaos, anxiety, uh, cost of living continuously rising and going up. Not to mention job loss. Hey. Got an elevator waiting for me. At least I thought I did. All right, I'll use this elevator. Job loss. There's just a lot going on. There's a lot going on that we need to discuss and get to the bottom of, or at least better plan and prepare for, as you guys can see this. I don't know if y'all can see this, but they got the wrong time on here. I don't even know how I got off so bad. It's not even, it's like off by like 43 minutes. It's the strangest discrepancy in time. Um, but I think we have so many more people. We're going, we're going down. Yet to reach we're gonna go see that we, uh, I think we're, we're making progress each and every day, but uh, it is nearing our checkout time see this my my watch is glowing it got charged up walking outside and then this dim illuminated but either way let me pack up let me get out of here you guys i appreciate y'all watching please smash that like button subscribe to the channel free links in the description down below we'll see you guys real soon take care